Ceiling plans are used to document the way that a ceiling or the light fixtures up above a certain height are represented. Inside of Revit, it's not underneath floor plans that we need to be looking, but we need to look underneath ceiling plans. And in this case, double click on level one to bring up what's technically called the reflected ceiling plan looking straight up in level one. If we zoom out just a little bit, we'll see this building over here on the right hand side. This is our little garage area that we have sort of out in the back of the building. This line going right down the middle is the peak or the gable there on the roof that's covering that garage. What we're seeing here in this view is that currently there are no ceilings in place. Those still need to be drawn. But this wide area is actually the underside of the floor for the level up above. So that we have a better idea as to what it is that we're looking at when we're looking at a ceiling plan. Come underneath properties. Scroll down and toward the bottom of the properties list, there'll be an option there called view range. Select on the edit button next to view range. We'll see a primary range option and we'll see a cut plane as well as a top plane. Right now, it says that seven foot six off of level one is where we're cutting through the floor plan at. So imagine if your head was at seven foot six up in the air and you were looking straight up. That's exactly what's happening here. Then the top is level two above, zero feet, zero inches. So at exactly level two, that's as far up as we can see. If we wanted to see beyond or be able to see up higher than level two, we could either change this information here or we could select another level that was even higher up on the list. If we wanted to be able to see below where the cut plane is at, we could change this offset distance so it was a smaller number and then we'd be able to see further down and be able to catch more things which might be lower than the cut plane. So the reflected ceiling plan, or just called ceiling plan, if I click on OK, is looking up as opposed to looking down like you'd have in a floor plan view.